Here is a quick explanation for the daily enrichment problem. This problem asks you to find the area of the shaded region and you'll have to um, put your answer as square units since there is no uh, unit listed on the problem. The first thing that I'm going to do is look for any ways that I can make rectangles and I'm going to go ahead and kind of box them all off. So this rectangle that I'm going to shade red right here has an area of one, two, three, four, five square units. So I'll go ahead and put a five there. And I think I'm going to box this part off right here. Let's do this right here. There is a big rectangle right there. I'll go ahead and shade that blue. And then go ahead and count how many square units this one is and I see one two three four five six so this will be six square units I don't see any other ways that I can make rectangles but I do see some triangles that I can go ahead and um, shade in so I'm going to look at this triangle right here and this triangle right here and those are both half of a square unit so one half plus one half will make one whole and I will label them and go ahead and put a half on each one. But I know that those two combined equal one whole. And next I see a triangle right here. Let me shade that in so you can see which one I'm talking about. This triangle right here. And this triangle right here is exactly half of this big rectangle. If you look at this rectangle right here, this triangle is half of it. And this big rectangle has an area of two square units. If the triangle is half of it, the triangle then has an area of one square unit. So I'll put a one on there. And I see another one of those triangles right here. So I know it's going to be a one as well. I'll go ahead and shade that in. And then put a one on it as well. So now what I have left is I see a triangle Let's see, right over here, and let me shade that in so you can see it, this triangle. This triangle is half of this big rectangle right here, and this big rectangle has an area of one, two, three, four square units. So the purple triangle is half that, which would be two square units. And I'm next going to look at this triangle right here. And I'm going to rotate that, and to do that, I'm going to flip it, and then flip it again. And then I'm just going to move this right on over. And you can see that that orange triangle then matches up in that little gap right there. So if we now look at this entire triangle that we've made, this entire triangle right here, and I'll shade that in, I'll highlight that we can see that this entire triangle is half of this rectangle. And this rectangle has an area of one, two, three, four square units. So this orange triangle is half that, which means it has an area of two square units. And the last part that I haven't looked at yet is this section right down here. I'm going to make a little triangle right here and then do exactly what I did before. I'm going to flip it and flip it again and then I'm going to move it over and I can then put it right up here, combine it with that other part and let me now trace around this. So now what we have is this entire triangle and I'll shade that in. We have this entire triangle which is half of one square. So therefore this entire triangle is one half. You can't really see that, but it's one half of a square unit. The last thing I need to do is add up all of my totals. So the blue is six, orange is two, purple is also two. I have two yellows. I have a red. I have two 
uh, greens, a half and a half, and then the teal, the light blue, which is a half. If I add all that up, six plus two plus two, that's eight, nine, ten, plus one plus one, that's twelve, plus five is seventeen. Two halves makes a whole, so that would be eighteen. Eighteen plus one half gives me eighteen and one half square units.